guys going to come out of? Obviously, last year was a great year. You know, let's learn from it, the good things and the bad things, and then build your own legacy from here on. Obviously, the win means a lot to you and your players. Being the first full ball for Reedsburg, what do you think it means for the Reedsburg? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I can't say what it means for the town, but I know it means an awful lot. They've really been hungry for something like this, for a championship uh, for a long time. And I could sense that when I first came here four years ago. And so for me personally, I'm, I'm extremely happy to be able to provide the community with that. Chad said he was the one that called the bootleg. Do you give him credit for that? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was his call. We'd never practiced it before, but it was a simple play, and it was just a matter of him uh, making the one guy miss. You had never run that play before this year? No, we have no. And obviously pretty good results. Is that going to be something in the playbook? Great now? results. We might have to put it in now, yeah. <laughs> Ryan, what about Nate Bride's influence on, on the team this week? It's, you know, saw him you know, lead you out of the locker room before the game, saw the guys give him hugs afterwards. What, how, how has it been with him this week? Pretty emotional for him. And, and I know for some of our guys, too, they, you know, they're such good friends. They're really tight. And uh, it was just a huge emotional support uh, having him out there, emotional boost. I sure. think, and you know, you just feel bad for the kid uh, being a two-year starter like that, being down here twice, not being able to play his senior year. Um, but like I told him, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. All right, thank you.